with confidence, though, not arrogance. Arrogance exalts self. Confidence exalts God. That's right. You walk with a knowing who you are. It doesn't matter how much money you've got in your pocket or what type of car you drive. What it matters is that you're in the family through Christ. You've accepted Christ. So you, now you are a righteous person. You made a mistake. We all make mistakes. Okay? But just like I remember uh, in the world, they teach you, they say you learn by experience. Meaning that when you mess up, that's an experience that you learn not to do that again. Well, that same principle kind of applies to us. When we mess up, learn from that experience. Okay, I, now what did I do to get in this predicament? What did I do to cause me to cuss this person out? What did I do to cause me to slap this person or the be Well, you understand? I mean, you have to analyze what got you in that position. And then you go back to the Word of God and see what God's Word says about that situation. And you get it in your heart because, believe me, that test is coming again. Yes, it is. All right. But this time, you prepare because you're going to pass the test. You study it. You know, I know, you know in school when we had to have a test, we had to study and be prepared. Well, you have to study and be prepared because tests are coming. Yes, they are. And when the tests come and you win, then you got to test them all. Yes. Amen. See? Yeah, you can't have a testimony without a test. Without the test. Yeah, come on. You understand? Know yeah. But you got to learn from the word how to pass the test. Right. Amen. Amen. And we are, and, and 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 the root of it is knowing who you are That's and right. who you are. I'm a saint. I'm not a sinner. No sir. Because if I'm a sinner, I have not yet arrived to being a child of God. The Bible distinguishes the two. Yes, it does. Since I'm on that, turn with me to First uh, John chapter three. Let's go to this. I close with this. Hallelujah. 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 Praise Jesus. Praise him. I want to look at first verse 1 is what I was quoting. 1 John chapter 3 verse 1. And you know, this to me shows the love of God. God loved us so much that he not only saved us from hell to heaven, but he adopted us into his family. He, he, he made us part of his family. That's love. Because yes, you got people out there right now who will not adopt you into their family. They won't adopt little children out there. I don't know. Mm -hmm. they, they, they don't meet the qualifications. See, with God, there is no meeting the qualifications because Jesus made it. All right. Jesus qualified us. First John chapter 3, verse 1 says, Behold what manner of love the Father has bestowed on us, that we should be called the sinners of God. Sons. Oh, yeah. Children of God. Come on, man. Oxymoron, right? Come on, man. That don't work, do it? No. It can't fit. No. <laughs> it says we should be called the children of God. Therefore, the world does not know us because it did not know him. Meaning that they're going to treat you different. They, gonna, they, don't, they, didn't, they didn't treat Jesus right. So what yeah. make, them, make you think they're going to treat you right? I'm not trying to impress the world. I'm not trying to be friends with the world. What I'm trying to do is get the people in the world to become my brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. That's the difference. Is all right. Now mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you the, the the distinction between children of God and children of the devil. Look at verse ten, same chapter, verse ten. It says, "In this, the children of God and the children of the devil are manifested." So there's two different children there. Sinners belong to the children of the Devil, devil, saints belong to the children of God. I mean, um, uh, our children of God. Sinners are children of the devil, saints are children of God. It says, whoever does not practice righteousness is not of God, nor is he who does not love his brother. Well, you and I have that love in us where we can love our brother regardless of what they do to us. Now, just because you haven't developed it yet doesn't mean that it's not in you. Romans 5 and 5 says the Holy Spirit has shed abroad the love of God in our hearts. When he came into you, he brought that same love that God loves us with. He brought it with him, with, with him in us. So it's in us. What we have to do is go in the Word and find out how to apply that love. Amen. But I want to show you that it's the devil, the children, the devil's children and God's children are two different categories. Yes. Sinners belongs to God's children. 
are God's church. Saints are, I mean, sinners um, are the devil's um, church. God, saints are God's children. We're paying attention. Oh, yeah. Now, that was a, oh, a yeah. true mistake there. I, didn't, I wasn't trying to treat you there. <laughs> but are you hear what I'm saying? You are not a sinner saved by grace. You are a saint. Amen. You are a child of God. Amen. You, we were talking about this Thursday night. Was it Thursday night? No, that's Tuesday night. Um, we are in a higher class than angels. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, the Bible says that uh, God created man a little lower than angels. Mm -hmm. But if you look up the Hebrew word, is Elohim. Elohim. Which is our creator. We are created a little lower than God. Right. Angels are up under us. Right. First Corinthians chapter six, round verse four, it says that we are going to judge angels. Angels. Originally man was to come here and rule and reign on the earth. Right. But Adam committed treason yeah, he messed up. and he turned it over to the devil. Mm -hmm. But Jesus came. And he took it back. And he gave us that authority and that position back to us. You hear what I'm saying? Even though it may not be manifested the way you want in your life, it's there. You are there. You are a team here. Conduct yourself like that. There's certain behavior and certain things that because we are king's kid, we don't get involved in. Right. I like uh it's uh, Philippians chapter two and it's verse 12, I believe it is. It talks about work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Mm -hmm. But the Amplified Bible says, don't do anything that will discredit the name of Christ. Right. So you have to examine what you're doing in your life, and is it discrediting Christ's name? Because it's discrediting mm -hmm. your name as well. Mm -hmm. But you are a child of God, just like Jesus. Mm -hmm. And if you read John 17, it shows you that I forgot, I think it's around verse 23. It talks about how the same love that God loves Jesus with, He loves you. Isn't that awesome? Mm -hmm. so, when, so when bad things happen, don't blame your daddy. No. Love doesn't hurt. No. I know that's what the world says. Well, if you love me, then you, you, you'll hurt me. <laughs> so you got women that have been abused so long, and not in the men too, but the women beat up the men. Yeah. Yes, sir. Well, you got women that have been abused so long that we, by the fact, we had one that used to come to this church and said that she didn't think that she was loved.